This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 1316, When Spending Money Improves Your Life, by J Money of BudgetsAreSexy.com. Thanks for tuning in today and every day. I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. This is a show where I read to you from some of the best personal finance blogs on the planet, with the author's permission, of course. And if you didn't know, we give away books on Instagram pretty much every Friday. So if you're not yet following us there, you can find us at OLD Podcast. We'd love to give you another reason to say TJIF today. But for now, let's get to today's post as we optimize your life. When Spending Money Improves Your Life by J Money of BudgetsAreSexy.com. So I've been spending a lot of money on something lately, and after weeks of trying to figure out why I've been so perfectly fine with it, I finally figured it out. What are these things I've been dropping my money on? An electric lawnmower, an electric hedge trimmer, an electric weed whacker that came with an electric snowblower, And then most recently, an electric chainsaw. Total spending, roughly $700 minus some coupons. Now, at first I thought I was just being a good homeowner and picking up the necessary tools to maintain a lawn since I hadn't owned any in years. But the part that really got me was that I wasn't just going out and buying the cheapest base models I could find like I typically do. But instead, I was picking up the more expensive and modern versions backed with rechargeable batteries and all. My wife laughs because she expected me to take my time and scour yard sales every weekend for the best deals, which is usually my MO. But something about that shiny new equipment spoke to me and turned me toward a different course. What were they saying? Pick me up, baby, and let's get this party started. You know you'll have way more fun using us every weekend versus those environmentally nasty tools from last century. Charge me up and let's start prettying up that lawn. And for the first time in a while, I listened to those brand new items wooing me over. And do you know what started happening? I actually started getting excited to maintain the lawn. And now I'm out there approximately 10 times more than I've ever been. Of course, it also helps that we've got a beautiful landscape to be poking around in and a fun riding lawnmower left by the previous owners. But picking up these tools has turbocharged my motivation, which is generally pretty hard to do. I'm not a garden lawn guy in the least. But that's the thing with money sometimes. Sure, it's good to stack and invest it, but other times it can be harnessed to improve areas of your life as well especially with those things you struggle with, like for example, lawn care, or perhaps cooking or organizing or grooming or a hundred other areas we have to tackle in life as an adult. It may take a little more money up front than you'd normally spend, but if it enhances your life noticeably, then it just may be worth it. Here are other things I've caught myself spending on over the months that have gone on to increase my productivity levels. Number one, brand new measuring cups and spoons. My old, mismatched, non-complete sets inherited over the years drove me crazy every time I went to use them, to the point where sometimes I wouldn't even bother cooking because it was such a hassle to find exactly what I needed. Number two, higher-end pens that actually work all the time and feel good on the fingers. And by higher-end, I really mean those that cost a couple of dollars each versus a couple of cents, like my all-time favorite Uniball Eye Roller Balls. Number three, faster laptop upgrades instead of eking them out to the point of frustration. Wow, what an impact this has had on my daily life. Even just laptops that are 20 to 30% faster due to age completely improves your efficiency. Number four, non-cheap electric razors. Very important for the Mohawk. And these are just a few I can think of off the top of my head. Point is, it's perfectly fine to spend money on things that enhance your life versus hoarding it all the time. You don't want to go overboard and enhance everything as you'll be left penniless, but do your best to not be so hard on yourself or lie awake riddled with guilt just because you pick something up that'll go on to make your life better. Other things that fall in this category, by the way, are books, self-improvement courses or classes, certain foods or beverages that fulfill your soul, quality shoes and clothes, date nights, and pretty much anything else that helps make you a better you over time 
or increases your quality of life. Again, all within reason. We may be $700 less rich now with all of our fancy equipment, but my goodness, do I now enjoy getting out there and tackling God's green earth more. I might have been fine without it, but it definitely wouldn't be as exciting. And if my interest waned, who knows? Maybe we would be more tempted to hire it out and go well beyond the $700 one-time spending. The couple of estimates we got from landscapers said they'd charge around $75 a pop, and that was just for mowing. You take on the weeding and the whacking and the trimming and the sawing, and I'm sure we'll be in the mid-100s. For something I can now happily just do myself with the charge of a battery. So all that to say that I'm now a proud lawn maintenance guy, and I'm not going to feel bad for splurging a little to get to this point. The more annoyances you can cross out of your life just by spending a few bucks, the better. You can't buy yourself out of everything, but the few things you can, so long as you can afford it, the better. You just listened to the post titled, When Spending Money Improves Your Life by Jay Money of BudgetsAreSexy.com. And he got his lawnmower from Greenworks. Um, He actually shared a picture in this post and also mentioned that you can interchange a lot of the batteries. He did have a note on that, which I'm going to read for you here. Probably not good to buy them used, though, since you wouldn't want to get overworked batteries that you then have to replace, which cost half the price of the actual tools themselves. So that's the only downside I've come across so far with these, that someday you'll need to replace them. But again, since you can use the same batteries for many of the tools, it should help prolong that if you do pick up more than one. Oh, and you'll also want to make sure that whatever batteries or tools you get, that they last long enough for the job you're trying to tackle, which for the most part should be fine if you have a typical sized yard and needs. Ours lasts more than enough to get the job done in one charge. I appreciate the food for thought from J Money, and I have to admit that when I first started reading this article, I immediately thought of hedonic adaptation, which is this tendency to quickly return to a relatively stable level of happiness despite positive or negative life changes. So you buy the new weed whacker and you're excited to use it at first, but then after a few weeks or months, you're back to not being thrilled about yard work. At least that was my experience with the new weed whacker I bought last year. But then I got to his point about buying good pens. And I have to completely agree. I can't remember ever buying pens in my adult life because they seem to be so readily available. Sure, they have brands of various banks or institutions on them, but they get the job done. However, I somehow came to possess a Pilot G2 gel ink pen and noticed that the writing experience was much more enjoyable. I bought a box, left my pen freeloading ways, and have absolutely no regrets. So there you have it, and that will do it for today. Have a great day and start to your weekend. Thank you for listening, and I'll be back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.